Just when you thought everything was going well, boom, this is the lowest we've been so far. Team China and Korea shows up and the comrades are combining under the forces under fucking Vasago and they're like, you know, this is unfair. Ooh, you got default account. You need to fight for us. And he gaslit them all enough to fight. But I think that Moon Flash or Moon whatever and that Mei Mei Zhao girl, I think they'll maybe figure out what's going on and maybe be on our side. Asta's copping up blood. Shinon's getting force choked. Leafa got graped and is just wasting the Terraria account. What else is happening right now? Everything's getting bl blown out, right? It's, it's looking really bad. Shaita and Champion also. It's looking like everything is like really bad. And he got, got betrayed by Yanai as expected. I expect some triumphant redemption, some sort of comeback to happen now. Let's begin today's reaction. Rat tail! Never trust the Rudy's gray rat rat tail. What's your goal? Boss's legacy. Kayaba? Someone above Kayaba? <sighs> this motherfucker actually being mentioned in season 4 is disgusting me. But plot wise, it makes sense, right? But fuck me, man. Oberon, really? Like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Just disgusting. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> okay, this is funny. <laughs> I had 10 years. I played it everyone else. I'm good now. <laughs> I got away easy. <laughs> <laughs> that lion, dude. Ew! A1 pictures! Is this a, did they reanimate this? Did they reanimate this or is it reusing? That was him. Oh my god, it was oh my god. Oh my god. It was the slime. He is the character from season. Oh. It's kind of cool though that they're like. It's not cool. This is not cool. But at the very least, this character is not someone just being ass pulled out of fucking nowhere. It is the tentacle dude. Ew. <laughs> バーチャル yeah, look at that. No loyalty is country. Not that you have to be loyal to your country, but immediately selling out Japan. Yep, take this shit. Give me a good position in America. I'm leaving. That's the American dream, baby. Stepping on everyone else's toes. Sacrificing everyone to get your own games, baby. Oh. No, no, he got... All right. Code 871, let's go. Oh shit! It is a force choke! How? How can he do this? Subtilizer. Yeah. GGO, baby. Yeah. Yeah. How sweet your soul is. Ooh. Your soul. Your soul. <laughs> <laughs> <be> so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love Mr. Miller. Like his whole evil presence. I love it. But whenever he says this line, it just always makes me laugh. Just like, oh, your soul. Will be so sweet. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it coming out of the crotch? <sighs> you know, you got a fucking god account and you really fucking up here. Ironic.
I've seen on his entire season two development was her getting over her fear of guns, and she did do that, but she can't get over this fear of Mr. Miller right now. Reset. Don't know it, actually. What is it? Sharpens. Yo, my control. Shino just got hypnotized. His eyes, bro, going that lizard eyes again. Are you gonna kiss the soul out of? Oh. I don't know what happened there. Shino's necklace? What is it? What? What? This is making a comeback here? That, remember that shit? That was like the thing that protected Kirito against the death gun in the first place. But you tell me that thing is somehow relayed into her necklace oh my god i love it bro i love all these connections back to the plot in the before even if it seems bullshit i even like you know fucking the other creepy guy and i guy being the tentacle guy just having connections to the past story is always fun to me When Shino and the hugged Kirito, you think Kirito subconsciously gave this to her somehow? I don't know. <laughs> Kirito saved Shino, but Leafa still got graped. Yeah, I know Leafa never got to see Kirito, but like, damn, bro. Shino just the the author loves Shino. Shino is like the author's favorite child, but Leafa, no, trash. You're gonna get graped over and over again for fan service. Shino, no, she can never, bro. We're <laughs> gonna, gonna give all the fucking plot armors to save her. Here we go. <laughs> Hecate 2, baby! We got Hecate 2 back! the fuck? What? Like... I don't get it! Mr. Miller can just do anything! His... <laughs> mental image game? Yeah, I, I guess the concept of mental image can really do anything, but like, god damn bro, really can just heal that shit too? Oh shit, boss theme! Who's gonna bail us out? Synchro sword skills. Oh no! Oh no! High animation. Sakura's a count. Let's go sleeping nights. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? <laughs> you could do that? Holy shit, I I I underestimated you. That's right, we're being gaslit. I don't speak Japanese. But then again, Basago literally fucking spoke Japanese and everyone understood, so I'm gonna assume everyone understands the same language here. Oh, 
日本企業の妨害をさせられているのは、yes. あなたたちなのよ。もう一度よく考えて。Think it through. If we really hackers, why don't you think the devs would just fucking stop the servers exactly like a moon face? あなたたちのものなのか。You being gaslit, dumbasses. この話は本当なのか。Yeah. Okay, moon face. そっちは。We got some dudes on our own side, our own side. Oh, oh. Moon phase. Yeah, Tommy, it's getting up. Yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital. Is Vasako Japanese? That's not a Japanese name. He does not look. I mean, everyone doesn't look Japanese in an anime. But he was in Laughing Coffin, and SAO was in Japan only. So he must have been in Japan, even if he's not Japanese heritage, to play SAO Aincrad, right? Going with this fucking bullshit fucking argument again. Honestly, I expected Vasaku to not be smart enough to even think about an argument like this. <laughs> You're idiots. This game has special access privileges, and every one of you are fucking logging with default accounts. Literally, the same argument could be used against you. <laughs> Vasaku is literally converted <laughs> too. <laughs> you? You would, but I guess that does make sense of like, oh, if you lose the account, then you could lose the account for good or some shit. Like hackers can burn in hell my ass. Why do you even care about this? No one has any reason to give a fuck about this game. You didn't even know the existence of this until like 10 minutes ago. This is just an excuse for them to just behave shitty and just kill stuff for fun. Someone's gotta show up and help. <laughs> Fucking finally. Oh my god, okay, Leafa has shown up finally. <laughs> Let's go! Harari accounts! It has super heals too, right? It should be able to heal the championship. <laughs> Let's go, Orkies! <laughs> I love how every time, like a different character is showing up from like a different show, like Shinon, GGO soundtrack plays. Leafa shows up, this is the ALO soundtrack, you know? Vasago, the Death Gun soundtrack plays, you know? It's like every character from the past SAO seasons all bringing this shit back. It's so cool. I think this is called Aerial Fight. This soundtrack is called Aerial Fight. All right. Giga Ichiemon, Giga Mon. Kikoka. Do dai Kirito kun no hou wa. Otori no hou wa umaku itteru. Smoke grenade wo aritake nagekoma saseta. Roga. Okay. Sono go wa futatabi kakuheki wo lock shinai to kiken da. Amari jikan wa nai zo. Yeah, what do you think is happening right now? I wonder what's going on with Higa man. To, segen taikou shisu, kenshi ikichi. What? New limit breaking flock light. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's, there's a new god flock light. Code eight, t today's episode was called Code 871, right? The emotional response overcoming that limitation. Which one of us? Champion, Orc? I, 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 pig Guy, Orc? Is, is it all of them? Okay, 
Right ocular region. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Remember, we were always talking about the limitation of the eye being something that the rat fucking, you know, the spy, the, the, the leaker said in, right? The eye. Exactly. We had this exact conversation before. Code 871. Yeah, nice code. What is that? B871. I wonder if these numbers actually has like a meaning. What is this? Where, where, where? Yanai? Employee number? Really? <laughs> the dude's literal fucking number that Jack says 871. So he, he's really not trying to be discreet about this, huh? This, this dude really just... It was me! Just call it code Yanai, bro. Why even call it code 871? You might have just called it code Yanai. Oh, fuck. You're fucked up. Yeah, and now they realize that he got in trouble. Oh my god! 87E! Yanai! 871! Oh, bro! He's not even. It all comes together. It all comes together. Alright! Non lethal injury on Higa. That's fine. A bullet to the arm is fine. What a fucking pussy. Happy ending my ass. Plenty has died within the game too. And yeah, I don't think he gives a fuck about Hirito, bro. He was the one who killed her. Hirito killed her. Let's think about this. This guy is the tentacle guy. We killed Oberon in game. Her. Hold up, let me think. I, 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 I want to try to think about this. This is back in ALO. He was a tentacle admin. Girl. Girl. Quinella? Quinella? Quinella and he was the one talking outside. Is it? Ew. Because there was someone in contact and he was. I thought it was Chikoka he was talking to, but he was simping for the AI. Oh my fucking god. He was simp. I mean, do you blame him? Do you blame him though? Right? Because like Quinella is really fucking hot. Her eminence, bro. Her eminence. <laughs> he was the one talking. Exactly, right? Because she was talking with someone outside and she was confident that she could go out to the other world. He kept saying, like, she kept saying, I'll see you on the other side. She already had a connection. Now, I thought Kikoka and Quinella were in on it together to, like, get a bunch of people that could break the taboo index, but no, 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 no. It was him all along with the code 871. <laughs> Low key based. Listen, I hate this guy. He's a piece of shit. He should die. However, however, <laughs> if Quinella survived due to Yanai, I'd be like, oh, you did one good thing. Let's let's fucking go. Yep. Yep, he was the Vector guy. Well, he did corrupt the underworld. He showed, he introduced the sin. The four people that fucking went in to populate the original simulation, this motherfucker was the one to introduce that sin. Read command. Yeah. That's how. Okay, so in that night when she was just fucking Hail Mary random fucking, you know, inspect list, open list, it, it read list, and then it was like all the system commands showed up and there was a command to talk to people outside, got in contact with Yanai. You visited her? <laughs> this is Chudalkin. This is Chudalkin, bro. Fuck it. I don't care. This, this, he is Chudelkin, bro. <laughs> System code! He is Chudelkin! <laughs> no, he's not Chudelkin, but... <laughs> <sighs> I hate him. But I love Quinella. Quinella is so peak, bro. <laughs> Evil bitch, bro. <laughs> she made me a promise. You gave me us out of the world and I'll give you some of my fucking virtual coochie if you just, ins ins you know, thank you Meliodas for the raid. We're watching SAO right now, but oh my God, bro. Guys, go check out Meliodas, but holy shit, dude. This guy was simping for Quinella the entire time. Number one servant over Chudokin. He, he would have a higher rank than Chudelkin, bro?
Damn, poor Chudel can. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> no, Quinella! Yanai, you know you're right. We need to kill Kirito. <laughs> no. Yanai, don't give up. There's gotta be a way where you, you can re revive Quinella. Don't let your talents go to waste, Yanai. Don't give up. We can resurrect Quinella somehow. <laughs> Getting vengeance for Quinella. <laughs> This is more funny to me than aggravating. Oh. Not he go. <laughs> so I hear a lot of other people saying that Shudokin qu killed Quinella, but um, I have a so we would have to go back. Want to go back real quick? It's eighteen oh seven right now. I I I do want to go back and actually see that scene again right now. It's a good time. So it, it, what happened here, right? What led up to this? Quinella was pretty much already dead, right? Like all the attacks, Quinella was pretty much done and was dying. But then she, I, I'm not completely sure what this part was, right? She, she uses the altar. She was about to go to the real world, I think. And then Chudalkin... <laughs> and in his blazing glory so, gets combined with you know Quinella. And it's a little bit ambiguous as what happened here, but I think that the flames aren't really showing that well maybe it is maybe Chudel can literally killed Quinella before they could escape together. You know what? I could see that. I thought that they were like merging into one together or some shit. Because if we're going with the logic that this color column of light was Quinella about to escape into the real world, like world and altar, right? Then Chudokin got in the way with the flames, and they both kind of disintegrated. So Chudokin got one pump in. That's still my... It, it, it's my headcanon. He got one pump in. He put that chode in her. And then they both combusted, and both of them weren't allowed to uh, go into uh, ejected. So yeah, I, I, I think that does make sense. Chudokin killed Quinella. Quinella was about to escape. I think that makes sense. Well, the merging part was kind of ambiguous. Because like, Quinella said, oh, why specifically you or something, you know? But Quinella was about to get away. Chudokin got there. Honestly, Chudokin got the biggest dub of SAO. She literally showed up. Minimal screen time. Was fun as fuck. Fucked Quinella disappeared the biggest winner of sao is chudelkin bro this dude actually got away with it fucking crazy the scene where she's just floating outside i think it's the same interpretation of you know how berkeley was dying and he was like drifting off into the sky as he saw alice crying about berkeley's body i think this is the exact same thing where they're dead their souls are about to you know leave and this is dead and that's the closure so that I think that's pretty much it. So Shudokin again, the biggest dub of SAO man. Shudokin just unbelievable fucking character. Quite honestly, might be one of my favorite characters in SAO. He's, he's <laughs> and he's cute. I genuinely think he's cute. He's an abomination, fat, ugly, short, whatever. But like he kind of cute in a fucked up way. Also, Chudelkin continues to win in fan art doujins where Quinella is involved. I've seen one where Chudelkin is literally spinning on his head, his dick is rotating around, and he's still getting it, bro. He's still getting it. <laughs> Renly! <laughs> now is the time for Kirito to show up, right? Like, is it not time for Kirito to show But, like, he got. No, I think it is time. Higa right now might be shot, but the laptop connected. It's time for Kirito to show up. Did he not start it? I thought he did. Stop! What? I'm surprised these dumb fucking NPCs. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. <laughs> Poor Asna. Poor Asna, bro. What the fuck? 
Vasago says stop before everyone's dead. Oh, it, yo, this gotta be racist. No. You tell me. In our core crew, the only black guy dies? This gotta be racially motivated. I'm not fucking taking this, bro. Justice for Tiffany. Lizbeth still hanging on? It's time for Kirito to show up. Yes, Lizbeth, your speech killed everybody here. No, blame Yui. Yui is the one that gaslit you into giving the speech. Yui killed everyone here. Vasago showing up. That's actually so fucked up how Ayo literally has three fucking spears just coming out of him. No one else from our side has taken significant damage. Even fucking Lina Senpai is alive. And then Aegil literally just impaled three times. This has to be racially motivated. Oh my god. Asuna, don't give up. Remember, Kirito is in here. Kirito is in this car. If there is any time, it is now for him to show up in clutch. Oh shit. ポート。懐かしい名前だな。覚えててくれて嬉しいぜ。インコフィンを壊滅させた。私たち攻略組への。メイビ。じゃねえの。教えてやるよ。ラフィンコフィンの隠れ味とてめえら攻略組様に。It was you? Who actually doesn't give a fuck? He just wanted the thrill of killing? What? What? Who? Wait. So this th Again, at the end of the day, these are the same dudes that like didn't even loot in GGO because they just wanted an excuse to kill, right? They just want it's it's for the love of the game. It's it's literally the love of the game. And the crazy shit, this is when people will actually die in game. Right? This dude reported on his own guild, right? To fucking do that. That's crazy. Even if GG was practiced for the mission, it does not, it doesn't mean it's mutually exclusive. These dudes are always doing it for the love of the game. Even if it's for practice, them not looting does not deny what I'm saying right now. These dudes are literally so fucking insane, just looking for the thrill of the kill. That's it. That's crazy, dude. You're insane. Hey, you're still here. Really? So you can get a feel like how we feel? Huh. I mean, Kirito did feel guilty about that. Right? Remember, remember GGO? Remember in the cave and shit? Like, remember how much trauma he had? Not even remembering the names of the people he killed. That was a focal point. That fucking worked. Vasago did it. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, now you speak English, Vasago. Yes, absolutely, yes. Yes, absolutely, yes. Nice. Let's see. Let's... Yeah, see, you can't really see his hair. This is the thing, you know? If you go, and Blackie Sensei is a crazy fucking name. But like, if you look at his face, Back during the Sachi arc, yoga pants, sorry, the yoga pants arc, you never could see his like, hair or like his scar, right? I really, really tried to look at every Laughing Coffin member in season one and try to see if there's anything that distinguished them, but I couldn't tell a the difference. They just look like these empty templates, you know, so it's not really fair, but this was Vasago. Johnny Black. True. Mm, no, there was the whole like conversation. The nurse, remember? Our combat nurse, she was the one that really like gave Kirito all the I don't know, emotional support to get him like get over him being a murderer, I think. Maybe maybe it was Shino, but I think it was the nurse. No, he carries on. It's like atonement, I don't know.
Oh no. The dual wheeler is being. Oh no. Oh oh my god. Here we go. The wheeler is coming down. <laughs> Roni! <laughs> Eagle's still alive. Eagle's still alive. Let's fucking go. It looks like the weapons are out of his body, so maybe Eagle will live. The funniest shit is if Vasa go. Like, you know how. And it won't happen because I. Wait, is Vasa go right now with an STL connector? He's an STL pod user, right? Right? Is he? Remember what I said before? How the only way you can get that backup image to elicit a response is through STL account. And the girls had a response. We saw, we saw Asna, then Shinon, right? What if Asago right now <laughs> is able to get Kirito to come out? Like the girls don't do shit. Kirito don't give a fuck about the girls. But Vasako is like, I remember you, motherfucker. And he comes. Oh, bro. And then this, cause like Higa right now didn't even start like the laptop shit. That's it's fucked up. So like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's showtime. Showtime. Oh shit, it's actually showtime. It's oh, oh my god, dude, it's happening. It's fucking happening. The way that he comes back is through fucking Vasako. Oh my god, this is so ironic. It's so ironic. But this is what Vasako wants, right? He wants Kitty to come out. I bet he's not too happy that he's in a wheelchair right now. So next episode, my man gonna come back. This episode, oh man. It's pretty great. A lot of bullshit happening. The first bullshit, um... Yanai being the tentacle ALO monster. What the fuck? And that's kind of hype that, again, it, this guy is just monstrous, right? Yes, I hate him. But bringing back, tying back previous season content is something that I always enjoyed no matter what. Surprised that, you know, A1 Pictures didn't go out of their way to fucking reanimate the tentacle grape scene, but it is what it is. Even Shinon as well, right? Shinon, Mr. Miller, the whole GGO thing that's been set up from a while ago, right? And, and like Hecate 2, bro, like this shit. And then they're playing GGO soundtracks the entire time. When Basago's doing his speech, you know, Death Gun is playing. When Leafa's doing her thing, you know, Aerial Fight from ALO is playing. The themes of all the different seasons are just coming back together. Like this is some sort of huge endgame, which it is. And at the end, dude, when everything looks bad, when every and I was still, this is still so fucked up. The way that they did Agil this dirty, bro, he's the only dude with like three fucking arrows or shit like, coming out of his body. That's gotta be racially motivated, but it's okay. Because our dual wheeler is about to awaken. Vasago will elicit an emotional response that'll just bring him back and. Oh. Yeah, and the revelation that Queen, he did the, the fucking. Yeah, and I did it for Quinella. It's just fucking hilarious. It's actually. SAO season four is so peak right now. And we got more, bro. We got more. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.